Morning guys, I'm at work and I just wanted to relay my thoughts on Intel of late. First off, I kind of like their Intel Nook hardware and I bought one for my workplace to solve a particular problem. But there was a crucial part missing from the Amazon page whereby the 2.5 inch hard drive that fits in here it's limited to a 0.5 millimeter max. So basically, um, if it's not an SSD drive, it's one of those sort of rotating disk type of drives, it just doesn't fit into the caddy that they give you here. It's just, see the caddy is sort of limited. So I have ended up making this sort of hodgepodge job with the Intel Nook here using cable ties. And actually it has been stable. It sticks out at the bottom a bit. But the good news it, is that it has been stable. So I also just wanted to have a dig at Intel when they recently announced that they're gonna cut the sort of Galileo and Edison platforms. It doesn't surprise me. When I, when I first started in my career working in, first started in my career in Korea, in South Korea, we, we were given like a top secret, I don't think it had a name, embedded platform for, from Intel and uh, we ported our software to it, we got it running and then, and then Intel pulled the plug on the whole project. Um, it was a colossal waste of time and effort and I never forgave uh, Intel for that. So, so actually a couple of years back, um, a guy at Hackerspace, you know who you are, asked me to do a project on Edison and I did have a look at it but um, I declined. So, um, yeah, long live ARM uh, for that competitive market. But on PCs, on, I, I really think Intel's messed up. You know, we all know how, like, delayed uh, what Kaby Lake was. And, and furthermore, I feel like the marketing on Intel is just awful. Like, not many people know that, like, it doesn't matter if it's an I... It, it doesn't matter on the... It used to matter with the megahertz, right? You know, Pentium 2, 200 megahertz, 300, and all that stuff. Now the generations are what matters. And it's very, most consumers are kind of unaware of the generations. Like what, what, what Intel uses is like Cabby Lake code names. Like what, what is Cabby Lake, you know? Did you know that the previous one was Skylake? Yeah, Skylake was the really delayed one. Messed up Apple, for example. I really, really hope AMD rise and sort of rises to the challenge because Intel is just floundering, honestly. So yeah, to recap, you know, sort out your marketing, like advertise the generations a lot more clearly, please, Intel. Secondly, I mean, how can, how can you sell this product on Intel without actually clearly saying what this limitation is, you know? And um, uh, what was the other thing? Doesn't surprise me with that embedded stuff. Um, rocket. See you guys. Give the video a like and uh, and tell me if you know better. Cheers, guys.